Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to go over how to set up Wind Editor, a comprehensive editor for The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. This is the first video in a series that will talk about how to use Wind Editor to its fullest potential. First things first, you'll need some supplies. To start off, you'll want to download Wind Editor. You can find a link to it in the description. The next thing you'll need is Dolphin, the GameCube emulator. In case you have any issues dumping the files, I recommend you use the latest version. For this tutorial, I will be using version 5.0-14019. If you haven't updated it in a while, you can find a link to the download page also in the description. Just download the most recent beta version. Finally, you will need a copy of The Wind Waker. I'll provide a link to the Dolphin website's guide on how to legally rip your own backup copy of the game once again in the description. Once you have all three of those things, we can start setting you up to use Winditor. So, in order to make it easier and faster to test out changes, Winditor works with the game files outside of the ROM. This allows the editor to use the game's models to show where actors are, and makes it possible to use Dolphin to quickly playtest changes to a map. We're going to use Dolphin to dump the files. So open up Dolphin. If you don't see the game in the file list, you're going to go to this config button, and then the paths tab, click on the add button, which brings up a folder dialog, then navigate to wherever your game is stored, and press the select folder button. That should bring up the game in the background. Close out of this, and then right click on the game and select properties. Then on the far right, we're going to select this tab that says file system, and then right click where it says disk and select extract entire disk. I usually create a new folder for this and I usually call it root. So press select folder and Dolphin will extract the files. Once that's done, you can close out of Dolphin. Before we jump into Winditor, let's take a quick look at the game files. If you open up Explorer to where you put the game files, you'll see that there are two folders. Sys and Files. Sys contains the system files and the game's executables, while Files contains all the game's assets, music, models, maps, and everything else. If we go into Files, we can see that there are some folders here. Audio Res contains the audio assets, like music and sound effects. RELS contains the code for all the actors in the game. And THP Demo contains all of the pre-rendered movies. For example, the staff credits, the epilogue, and the title demo. Res has everything else. So let's go into Res, or R-E-S. And we can see that there are a bunch of folders in here. I'll only focus on the most important three. So the first one is Message, or MSG. And this contains all the UI assets for the game, like menu assets and the layout of the HUD. The most important file here is bmgres.arc, and this file contains all the game's text data. When you edit text using Winditor, this is the file that Winditor edits. If we go back and go to Object, Object contains all the actor's assets, like their models, their animations, and anything else that they need to work correctly. And finally, if we go back and go to Stage, Stage contains all the maps in the game. Each of these folders is referred to as a stage, and each stage has one or more rooms. Something important to note is that you can make new maps by just adding a folder and copying in some rooms and a stage archive. Just make sure that your folder name is less than 8 characters long. Now we are ready to take a step into Winditor. Before you can start using it to its fullest potential, you have to take care of some settings. So go ahead and open up Winditor, and in the top toolbar where it says Tools, we're going to go to Options, which brings up the Options menu. Now the two options that we're concerned with here are Game Root and Dolphin. Game Root is the copy of extracted files that Winditor will make all changes to. So any text edits or map edits or anything else that you might change in the game will be saved to this copy. As for Dolphin, Winditor has a playtest feature, which allows you to test map changes super quickly. In order to use it, you need to tell Winditor where your copy of Dolphin is, and that's what this setting does. 
So go ahead and set these options to wherever your game is, which mine was root, and wherever dolphin is, mine is over here. Go ahead and hit save and you're done. And once you've done that, you're good to go. This is all you need to get Windows are up and running with all of its features, and I hope that you'll have fun playing around with it. I can't wait to see what people will make.